Welcome back to our weekly Pet of the Week segment. Joining me today is Jenny and Michelle from Tales from the City. Good morning, guys. Good morning. Now, today is different because we're doubling the fun with not only two pets, but a dog and a cat. Yes. Introduce us. What are their names? This is Hunter. He's about a year old. Um, he was saved last year, so I've been fostering him for a year. Um, having a little trouble getting adopted because mm. he caught a bad virus that made his eyes be not as desirable, but he can see shadows and our vet didn't want to remove him because he's doing fine with those. But as you can see, he's a total love bug and um, fine with dogs, uh, mm -hmm. loves other cats as well. So he's still looking for his forever home. All right. And who do we have here? This is Shaggy. Shaggy. He's about a six and a half month old wire-haired terrier mix. He came from our friends at Cleveland Kennel and um, we help them out by pulling dogs when we have foster homes available to help clear out their space. So he is available, happy-go-lucky, um, loves cats, loves other dogs, um, ready for his home as well. All right, what do you want people to know about the adoption process for them? So um, we accept applications for them. You can go to our uh, website, um, Tales from the City Cleveland, dot org for that or um, muttleycrewrescue.org for or dot com for that one, for the dogs and um, you can fill out an application we pro Jenny here will process that for you and uh, we'll get you going and with a hopefully getting your new furry friend into your home and of course we love that you guys are a part of the clear the shelters campaign tell us why that's important and how it's going this year it's so important because there are a lot of animals needing homes um, our sh local rescues and shelters are all very full um, and it's it's a crisis right now we need to get these babies into homes so there's room for more to save and um, we're doing that by keeping our pet stores filled with uh, PetSmart charities. We put our cats out there to move them along. People can see them at a store when they're out shopping. Mm -hmm. um, the dogs, we're taking them there and have, having them uh, visit with people that just might come out and stuff. So just trying to clear the space for the next batches that are coming in. All right, beautiful. Well, thank you both for joining us. And of course, there are still two full days left in our Clear the Shelters campaign. And remember, if you want more information or if you're just looking to donate, just head to our website, wkyc.com. Clear the Shelters ends Tuesday the 10th. And coming up,